This is Jesus Garza. I'm at Funtown RV Center over here in uh, Claiborne, Texas. I'm going to be checking out something I just saw on the lot. It's new for me. I never heard of this uh, company. It's called uh, Black Series. I'm going to be inspecting four different units, primarily the two-wheel, you know, travel trailer. And then I'm going to show the other version, which has the uh, bunkhouse and has four wheels. And they have a soft top, uh, you know, pop-up. And they also have a hard top pop-up. <laughs> I hope I got that right. So check it out if you're interested. And I'm back. Again, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I do travel, photography, and RV reviews. And today we're checking out the Australian-designed uh, Black Series Off-Road Travel Trailers. Heavy-duty travel trailers, indeed. I'll be checking out four different models. First off will be the HQ-17 uh, and the HQ-15. The HQ-17 is the you know tandem axle model and the other 15 has only two wheels. I saw this unit at Funtown RV Centers in uh, Claiborne, Texas. They are the nicest people in the whole state of Texas. So here's the uh, bunkhouse uh, tandem uh, axle uh, model. A very nice uh, unit indeed and then I'm gonna be also checking out here the uh, 15 which has only two wheels but it has a very nice uh, bathroom it has an actual dry bath as compared to the other unit which only has a wet bath again let's check out the HQ 15 I really like this unit I hope you like it too if you have any questions feel free to contact the folks at uh, Funtown I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to help you. Again, this is the first time I've ever seen this unit on their lot. It's a new product. Typically, this unit is manufactured in Australia and stays down under. Finally, they brought this unit to the United States where they assemble them and uh, produce uh, certain components for them. Yes, you can pause this video at any time to look at certain video elements that you find interesting. I shot it in 4K. For example, the uh, chassis is hot-dipped galvanized tubular steel and they have a very amazingly powerful and uh, robust uh, independent suspension uh, that's been tested up to 40,000 pounds per, uh, per uh, control arm. And the electrical system includes, uh, you know, a black series of pure sine wave inverter, uh, a couple AGM batteries and uh, solar panels. You can't go wrong with that. Let's take an in-depth look at the uh, Black Series uh, HQ-15 first off. Uh, you can see back there that it has these uh, Nerf bars, whatever you want to call them, bumpers. They protect the bottom from getting totally uh, annihilated by a rock. Again, this is designed for outdoor use. They have electrical uh, steps. They have a little button right there uh, inside the door, uh, a little bit to the left. And again, very high quality components. To the front you see the pass-through storage and to the left is the uh, outdoor kitchen it just slides out and this is not your you know pedestrian <laughs> outdoor kitchen this is a serious serious outdoor kitchen with uh, stainless steel components uh, has uh, three burners and also a wash basin look at that you got a you know area where you can pull out where you could have uh, you know put your pots and pans or your dishes and you have another section there and a little glass backsplash that I'll also will uh, convert to add a little bit more you know workspace so what do you think of this uh, outdoor kitchen it's better than anything I've seen in the United States so far <laughs> this is amazing again three burners has a drawer underneath stainless steel not some uh, you know crappy material and a stainless steel sink and a little area right next to it where you can do some work uh, fabulous absolutely fabulous and again it just slides out this is the pass-through storage you can see some of the you know shocks and the uh, stinky slinky and other uh, odds and ends that they throw in as part of the deal yes they don't call them uh, travel trailers down under they call them caravans wow <laughs> black series caravans from australia now in the united states at funtown rv center so this is a fiamma f45 s manual awning that's not electric it has a little scare light there and you can see the window right there too also so there's the uh, front area and uh, it's significantly modified for uh, four-wheel drive uh, vehicles this uh, unit this here 
pivots all kinds of different directions. So if your car's, your truck or whatever vehicle you're using, that's hopefully four wheel drive, goes a little bit to the right, and this one wants to go a little bit to the left, no problem. Again, it has a sort of like a, you know, universal joint right there. That's amazing. Of course, you see the usual, uh, you know, diamond plate. This travel trailer, uh, oh, actually I meant uh, caravan, according to the Australians, has two distinct areas up front. The one to the left has uh, two 20-pound uh, propane uh, bottles. Uh, you can all, I don't know if you can add 30-pounders, maybe even 40-pounders. That's a question for your dealership. Again, they might be able to uh, accommodate a bigger uh, propane bottle. Something to consider if you're going boondocking. And it has a provision here so you can put your little gas cans, your what they what they call in the literature jerry cans, and you can put your gasoline right there and store it for the vehicle. Right here you just press that little center button and it pops out and then you twist it to access the storage. Very interesting and very high quality. By the way, one of the themes you'll notice in this video is that a lot of the hardware is stainless steel. Super high quality, not plastic, not some uh, pot metal or something bizarre. It's solid stainless steel, not chrome that can get rusty. <laughs> stainless steel. By the way, uh, this video is considered my extended version of my previous version of uh, this uh, my uh, video on the Black Series uh, caravans, travel trailers. Okay, so it's a little bit longer. The video elements are extended a little bit. The uh, photos sequences are longer. Okay, so here's the pass-through storage, and you can see the 30 amp plug inside the cord rather. And to the right is the fuse box and. Uh, very convenient and heavy duty. These aren't just uh, some puny little uh, levers here. These are, you know, household quality, uh, you know, levers, uh, you know, relays uh, for their fuse box. So they're not uh, cheaping out on this uh, travel trailer indeed. Here's a view of the back area and notice uh, that the water uh, where you put, you know, add water for your tanks has a key i guess uh, for the drinking water and also for the general water tank it has a key so they want to make sure nobody uh, contaminates your water or steals it and also there's a shower right there here's a shot of the windows they're all european style and of course the lights above i really appreciate the good style of the uh, european windows they're very functional See that little bulbous area right there to the left? That's uh, where you can connect, uh, you know, a cigarette lighter type uh, 12 volt uh, uh, item if you want to charge it and uh, take advantage of all those great uh, batteries, those AGM batteries that you have in this unit. I wonder if you can uh, add a couple extra batteries uh, to this unit. That would be fantastic. You can stay out even longer, huh? So there's some of the supports and the bumpers and also the various ways you could hitch. Uh, to this unit and of course this unit has two uh, spare tires because you're going to be uh, going outdoors and they give you the better tires the Cooper tires Wow not some cheap Chinese knockoff but a great Cooper tire on the front there you can see the kitchen area but to the back here they have a little table that pops out very convenient you can do some work there uh, you know you know put some items there for the buffet or you know do some item put some items there that you're going to be working on here I photographed the door and the catch specifically for the door. Uh, it's unique that they have a plastic catch because if that w the wind you know pulls your door, it's going to break that little tab instead of yanking out a big chunk of your wall there. It's better that they you know break that little tab because you can always replace that little uh, attachment rather than a chunk of your wall, don't you think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And here's a shot of the door. Very sturdy. Yeah, continuing the theme of rugged uh, camping. You know, boondocking. Uh, going down the road that's less traveled. There's a nice little uh, handle. Can't complain about that. It's not a plastic handle. It's a metal handle. Again, very nice. And there's a solar sensor wall light. Uh, you know, that solar sensor wall light you know that when it goes dark it turns on okay or you can just leave it on at any time you want to the left down there in the bottom is the uh, controls for the uh, you know for the steps I don't know what the 
control for that on the right is? Uh, that's a question again. For who? For the dealership or the manufacturer. Up there you get a GFCI plug. Sorry, it's a little fuzzy. It's the only shot I had at it. Uh, next time I'll try to do better. I am always aspiring to do better in my photography. Here's a view from the uh, bathroom looking towards the bedroom. The dinette's on the left and the galley kitchen is on the right. Each side of the bed has a little end table with a drawer. Very nice. And of course a little shirt drawer right above that or jacket drawer, whatever you want to make it. And there's a skylight, a speaker, and the puck lights. They have two uh, rows of uh, puck lights going all from front to back. And there's the headboard, a very macho looking headboard. And uh, uh, <laughs> the bed cover has a little bit something to be desired, but it's, uh, I guess, uh, it's, uh, it's what they offer. And uh, that's what, they, what you get. And of course you can replace it and make uh, makes more aesthetic choices for a bed cover, okay? And there's the other side with the, uh, you know, end table and, and the folks at Funtown RV decorated with some magazines and some literature and some books and some coffee. The European style windows, you know, they, the bottom part is a screen and the top part is the privacy shade. You can connect them together, raise it up, and you only got the screen. You put it down and you only got the privacy shade. Or you can go half and half or separate them and uh, just get what you get from uh, opening the window. You get the natural environment. Whatever is out there, the bugs, <laughs> they'll come inside so you need that screen so these uh, so these look like pearls huh they're not pearls they're just the uh, cord to control the drapes okay the center of the handle is a button that you use to open and to gain access to uh, what's behind uh, the uh, cabinet door there and um, Sorry for the fuzzy photograph. Again, I think I have two or three fuzzy photographs. Again, I apologize. So there are the puck lights, there's the speakers, and there's the uh, skylight. And embedded in the skylight are some LED lights, uh, sort of like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, accent lights? Those are accent lights? Uh, that's, a, that's pretty nice. Even when you're going, uh, you're roughing it, you need some accent lights, don't you? So you can sip that champagne and have a nice set of cervecita, a beer. And there's a control, I think, for the heater because I think the air conditioner is controlled by actually connect, you know, by the controls on the air conditioner. I could be wrong. So there's one of the side cabinets, uh, so the drawers on the side, and of course the materials they use for these cabinets is uh, plywood with a plastic sort of laminate. I wonder if it's plastic. It might be wood, for all I know. It might be a high-end wood, but it looks very glossy to me. So you press that button and you open it up and there you got it, a little tiny, uh, seriously, seriously robust, <laughs> seriously robust little drawer, uh, sort of reminiscent of Ikea. And there's your little lamp, your little reading lamp, just press a button and you're, you can read whatever literature you want in the comfort of your bed. We're now looking from the bed towards the uh, dry bath and you get this uh, nice view and of course my reflection there taking the photographs with my Lumix G85 and to the right is the dinette and to the left is the galley and uh, a lot of features uh, that are, are you can take advantage of in this unit you have three burner cooktop inside and also outside you can't complain about too many surfaces to cook on again three inside and three outside and they're stainless steel and uh, very nice very high quality very rugged I really like it and there you got the stainless steel sink and it's pretty deep and it's a very high quality stainless steel sink not a cheap one I I, I looked at it and I go man this is thick and of course a nice faucet also to the left you get controls for the uh, inverter and also you have that stereo little basic Kenwood stereo system and uh, there you are and this is a 2000 watt inverter, if I remember correctly. Of course, it has solar and a couple AGM batteries. So you're ready to go boondocking for sure. And this is the storage uh, immediately to the right there. And uh, has some AC uh, connection. I guess that's for the uh, microwave. And those struts are serious. And that's just a microwave. It's not a convection microwave or anything fancy. It's just a 
basic uh, $100 microwave a high point. Uh, it's very functional. And this refrigerator, my God, that is tiny. That is tiny. <laughs> Uh, is that enough food for you, boys and girls? I don't think so. Uh, let me see. Here's behind those two doors and um, a lot of plumbing. It has a triple filtration system. Wow. <laughs> and you can have access to the water pump. Again, a lot of the PEX plumbing and uh, the filtration to the right and uh, this, you know all that right there. Quite a bit of stuff. And again, here's a close-up of the triple filtration. When you're going outdoors, you want to make sure the drinking water is of a high quality. And uh, this definitely allows you to do that. There's a stack of three drawers and a uh, sliding uh, area to the left and the toilet. And a little bit of storage right there. I like it. And that's a drawer opened. Again, has that Ikea look. And my wife and I do shop at Ikea once in a while to get some odds and ends. And ends and odds, okay? Here's a close-up. What do you think? What do you think of the furniture? It has a certain light wood aged look to it. And again, those pistons, those supports uh, for the, for the, you know, for the doors, those, they aren't messing around. Those are serious, serious uh, supports there. There's a toilet uh, area to put your, you know, towel to the left and uh, you have a, a GFCI plug to the right above uh, the, you know, the tabletop there. Here's a nicer shot of the toilet, the head. Let's turn the camera around and take a peek at the uh, shower area. This is an excellent shower. I give this shower a good solid B plus. It's not up to uh, four hundred thousand uh, dollar, you know, class A quality, but it's still very, very good. It's just a notch below. This is solid fiberglass all the way around. It's not uh, like 10, 4, 5 thin pieces of plastic. This is high quality with very good, you know, uh, you know, appliances right there. You have a very nice shower head. You got a nice little basic fan. I would upgrade that to a Fantastic or a Max Air fan. And I do love this little sink uh, area that you can wash your hands and it uh, gives you a lot of uh, surface area right on that counter so you can leave your toothbrush and other materials. I did sit in this little dinette and it is small. It is puny and I'm skinny. I'm only 175 pounds, five foot 10. And I had a problem sitting behind there. I can imagine some of you big guys <laughs> trying to get inside there. You're gonna have to take that table out and put it somewhere else. That uh, thing dangling there is one of the uh, accent LED strip lights. Uh, I didn't do it. It was like that when I got there, okay? <laughs> You have two pouches there to the left where you can put your magazines, reading material, maps, whatever you want. And of course, uh, the, uh, this is the material that you get, uh, black, uh, leather-like material. I don't know if it's leather or naga. I did not ask. I did not look. Again, this is a question for who? The dealership or the manufacturer. You get a little light here. There's a tight shot of the uh, material they use for the drapes. Okay. This little area here plops up. Uh, it comes, uh, you have to actually manually uh, engage it from the bottom because it, it didn't want to engage automatically. For me, at least, maybe for you, it'll automatically engage. I had to actually move that little uh, angle piece right there into position so it'll be functional, but it is well built. And that's a 72 inch, 75 inch uh, big screen TV. Nah, it is, it's a puny little TV. It's a puny TV. If you're used to a big TV, you're going to be sad and uh, very sad, okay? And there's some, uh, you know, switches and connections and, uh, and uh, inverter-controlled, uh, you know, plugs there, etc., etc., and reading lights. It's all good. Thanks for checking out my HQ15 review. It's, this is the majority of my video is going to be on this unit. I'm going to go on to the the other unit, the HQ-17, I'm just going to go, you know, I'm going to talk about it for significantly less time. So if you're getting a little bit bored by this video, you can say, hey, I'm almost done. Here it is. So here's the uh, specs. Don't forget you can pause this video anytime. I shot it in 4K. Yes, I shot it in 4K for your video enjoyment. So you can pause this and look at the external shower and say, ah, it has hot, cool water. Wow, that's pretty good. 
And, uh, you know, this, the batteries, it gets two uh, AGM batteries. Wow. So here's a shot from the bed looking forward uh, towards the back here. And there it is, uh, a shot of the, uh, the bunk beds. And to the right is the uh, shower area. Okay. And the dinette is to the left. There's that radio in the uh, 2000, you know, watt inverter and various, uh, you know, controls, etc., etc., and they have the ground fault circuit interrupting the uh, receptacles there. And there's my truck uh, waiting to hitch up to this unit and take it for a long, long trip, huh? And this is a nice little dinette. I really like it, but it's a little too cozy for me. Uh, you know, one of my friends is five foot two, 100 pounds, 112 pounds. He can fit in there pretty nice. But if you're 250 pounds, good, good luck. 250 pounds, six foot two or something, good luck. And here's the bunk beds. They have little fans, they have little lights, they have even little TVs for people. There it is, a little TV with a, with a, you know, you can watch your little videos and, you know, roll up uh, windows here. So. You can take the whole crew, the whole family, the grandkids, whoever you want to bring along, you can bring along, your friends even. Uh, if you really are struggling, you can even bring your in-laws. They can sleep back there, can't they? So there we are. We have a view of the air conditioner, the skylight, the bed, the refrigerator to the left, the kitchen to the right. And there's the wet bath in this bunkhouse model. So you get a nice little wet bath and a beautiful little sink and a nice little fan that can be upgraded again to what a max air or a fantastic fan a fantastic fan okay and you get a little the uh, you know there i am photographing uh, the towel bar in the mirror and i'm tr you know i'm trying my best and uh, you know i'm enjoying this i enjoy photographing uh, new products out there if you want me to photograph your products, uh, feel free to contact me. You know, you can contact me via email. Just go to the description. I'll be more than happy to come down to your facility and uh, photograph you, your products, okay? And I do it for free because I enjoy doing it. I'm just, you know, you know, of course I have to agree to I like the product. So there's a refrigerator. It's a bigger refrigerator than the last year. And the 1510 had a puny refrigerator. This one's a lot bigger. I think they're both AC-DC or maybe AC-Propane. You'd have to ask the dealership, what are they? Can I run this off propane or do I have to have the generator going or use the solar, the batteries, etc., etc.? So that's been my short review of the HQ17. Don't forget, you can always go back and check certain visual elements that I missed that you want to look at. Real nice, tight shot. Now we're going to check out the pop up uh, units, the Alpha and the Dominator. Here's the Dominator absolutely gorgeous and behind it is the uh, alpha unit again i saw these units at uh, funtown rv center in claiborne texas they are the nicest people in the whole state of texas i'm being serious so here's some of the specs you can uh, pause this video at any time i shot it in 4k for your visual enjoyment and you can see some of the photos here showing the uh, underpinnings and also when it's popped up and you can see how it looks like a tent and uh, you can have a refrigerator and all kinds of good stuff in this unit here's a shot of the back with the storage and the two spare tires wow you have two tires plus another two tires if you get a sp you know <laughs> if you have issues with tires with this unit you're in uh, deep doo-doo seriously there you have four tires and uh, a massive bumper back there and plenty of storage on each side and also on top you can put all kinds of kayaks canoes luggage whatever you want to bring along on your trip you know you can you know plop it right there because this unit is rather light and can be readily uh, you know towed by a small truck or a large SUV easily of course I'd recommend getting something with four-wheel drive. Look at the tires right there. Those are serious tires. That's some serious storage on top. Wow. These are, again, Cooper tires, and they're much better than those $25 Chinese tires that typically you offer on uh, you know, travel trailers. And I'm going, my God, this is finally something of a high quality for the American market. Thank you, Australia. And here's some controls for the, you know, to prop up the, you know, the tent and this unit and you just unclamp that again i didn't get a chance to open it up because i was afraid that i'd break it i do not want to have to buy it 
Uh, again, this is too macho for me. I need something a little bit more. I go down gravel roads, I go down dirt roads, but I do not go down that road next to that cliff down the middle of nowhere. I rather, you know, I like to, you know, be a little bit more safe. But then again, some of you guys out there and gals are more adventuresome than me. You know, that's how it is in life. Stainless steel uh, hinges and, uh, you know, high quality components. Wow. Again, this shouldn't fall apart, you know, within a couple of years, like your typical low end 10, $15,000 travel trailer. And solid steel latches, solid steel latches, and again, hinges. Super quality, super fantastic for the, uh, you know, discriminating customer who goes outdoors and needs something of a high quality. If you are that kind of customer, you're probably already looking at this. This can hold uh, 100 kilograms. Uh, of course, this is an Australian product. They forgot to put pounds. Come on, Aussies, put down pounds. We're in America now. And there's a area where you can put a certain type of key. I don't know what kind of key you put in there. Must do something, huh? I don't know. And there's some latches and you get some storage up front where you can put uh, all kinds of great stuff, huh? And I'm gonna open it up for you so you can take a peek. What can you put in there? Hmm. You can put your jerry cans, your gas cans right there. And to the right, you can put your propane. You can fill up your propane bottles. And uh, I think this one is limited to like about 20 pounders. I don't know. Another question for the dealership. Ask them, hey, can I put 30 pounders in here? They go, nah, just 20 pounders. You'll soon find out, huh? Let's check out the uh, cloth top version, the Alpha. For all your alpha males out there and alpha females out there and alpha well you know folks out there so this unit uh, weighs only 2400 pounds but it can carry another 2000 pounds of stuff wow and you can see from the photo on the bottom right that looks like a nice little tent huh all kinds of great stuff in this unit and it has the usual supports on the top like the other unit and uh, but it doesn't you know have that mechanism that lifts up that uh, metal top and has a little uh, bumper guard here so you know gravel guard so it protects the front so as you're going down the road you don't damage uh, the tent and the fabric and the different uh, propane bottles and your jerry cans you do not want that to happen you want to make sure everything arrives to your campsite in 100 percent a plus shape again okay. here's the other side view again more storage and uh, you can see that covering that um, you know plastic covering that they have for the unit i don't know what kind of material is a vinyl plastic uh, in all probability so there's where you can put your propane bottle and your jerry cans as the aussies call them i never i didn't ever heard it would call jerry cans uh, so, hmm, something you learn something new every day and there's a storage and pull out kitchen and stuff like that and this is high quality you know fabric construction again uh, this is not a budget option these units go for 30 40 50 thousand bucks a pop okay this is not your you know twelve thousand dollar unit so this has been in the australian design black series off-road travel trailers i saw four of them at uh, fun town rv centers in uh, Claiborne, Texas, they are the nicest people. And where? The state of Texas, of course. They are nice people. Again, I saw the Black Series Alpha and Dominator in the 15 and the 17 Q Series. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. This has been my extended version of my original version of this video. The other version is about half as long. This one's a lot longer. If you survived till right now, congratulations. I uh, commend you for watching my whole video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.